Hi, I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to MSA's Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk about deconning our face piece and our harnesses. In today's day, with the cancer running rampant through the fire service, MSA has listened to all the fire service's concerns about deconning our personal protective equipment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to take and decon our face piece. Deconning the face piece is very important for firefighters, and the reason why is our hairnet is closest to our body, it's going to pick up all the products of the smoke, and if we don't decon it properly, it's going to cause issues. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how to quickly take off the hairnet, the nose cone, and I'm going to hand it over and we're going to decon this. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, the straps pop off, the hairnet is now completely disengaged. Next I'm going to disconnect the nose cone. The nose cone comes out. Our face piece is completely disconnected. We want to make sure that when we decon this though, we don't want to use anything abrasive on it. We're going to use a nice damp cloth. We're going to use a mild detergent. Okay, at this point, we want to make sure that when we put this in our bucket, we're using an MSA germicidal soap solution. After we let it soak for a good amount of time, we're going to pull it out, and we want to make sure that we rinse it with hot or warm water. One more thing that we want to make sure that we go over is when we pull out our face piece and we're going to rinse it with the warm and hot water, we want to make sure that we open up the exhalation valve to make sure that the water actually goes through it. Okay, we've just deconned our face piece. Now we're going to decon our backpack. What we're going to do is we're going to take our MSA harness system and we're going to take it apart to decon all the software. What we're going to do is we're just going to disengage the lumbar area that comes off. Then what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to disconnect the shoulder straps and bring them around. After they've been disconnected, I'm going to walk down each side and I'm going to disconnect the snaps that hold it all together. After I'm done with that, I'm going to disengage this pin. Then I'm going to pull the regulator through the shoulder straps. After that's been done, then I'm going to disconnect our shoulder system, hand that over, and then we could clean our back plate while that's sitting in our decon solution. So as you can see with the MSA G1, how easy it is to take it apart and decon it. Just keep in the back of your mind how we have issues with cancer in the fire service and MSA has gone above and beyond to make it a little bit safer for us. I'm Joe Alvarez. Thank you for watching MSA's Quick Tips.